Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Good day to all of us. Ako po si Deborah Garcia and welcome to another series of lessons where you will learn not just the theories and form of the language but also the function and the usage. But of course, before you watch this video, please make sure that you've already watched the lessons from the previous series. There are 18 lessons in there. I'll put the link of the first lesson in the description box below because in that series, I discussed all the major theories that will help you understand the Filipino language from the very basic to the advanced level. So if you're ready, grab your pen and paper and let us learn all about conversational Filipino. So I already put our topic for today's class. It says comparisons. Let us compare. Comparisons in Filipino, we say pagkukumpara. It sounds the same, right? Comparison. Kumpara. And then when we say let us compare, we say magkumpara tayo. So later I am going to show you two pictures and we need to compare them. Also, since we started answering um, incomplete sentence from the previous lesson, we are going to do that today as well so that you won't forget how to do it. And then by answering incomplete sentence, then you would be able to form longer sentences in Filipino. Okay, here are the two apartments that we need to compare. So we have apartment A and then we have apartment B. Apartment A has isang cuarto. Um, it has a three-piece CR. Malapit sa eskwelahan. Malapit sa bus stop. At $600 kada buwan ang upa. Now, our apartment B has dalawang cuarto. We have four-piece CR. Malapit sa mall. Libre ang parking and it's 1,000 kada buwan ang upa. Okay, so here are the details of the two apartments and then I have five questions prepared for you. Can't fit all five here, so we'll take it two at a time. So, apartment A says, isang kwarto and three piece ang CR. CR is washroom or bathroom. In the Philippines, we call it CR comfort room but uh, in public places we call it rest room as well CR comfort room or rest rooms and then it says here malapit sa eskwelahan in the previous lesson we discussed eskwelahan so eskwelahan is school malapit we also tackled this one malapit is near right this one is malapit sa bus stop so malapit again it's near the bus stop. And then upa. Upa, we discussed this in the previous lesson. So the upa is $600 kada buwan. Every month. Okay? Now let's go to apartment B. Apartment B has dalawang kwarto. This one is isa. This one is dalawa. Dalawang kwarto. And then four piece ang CR. Malapit sa mall. Libre ang parking. It's talking about parking. It's the same in English. Parking. Libre is free. Free ang parking. The parking is free. And then the upa, the rent, is $1,000 kada buwan or every month. Now, first question. Ilan ang kwarto ng apartment B? This is very easy. I think I asked this kind of question in the previous lesson as well. So, ilan? Ilan is how many? How many kwarto? How many rooms does apartment B have? How do we answer in complete sentence? So, we start with, we can start with the number. How many? It's asking for a number, right? Ilan? How many? How many? Dalawa. So, we say dalawa. Ang kwarto ng apartment B. Ilan ang kwarto ng apartment B? Dalawa ang kwarto ng apartment B. Easy? Yes, very easy. Okay, number two. Saan malapit ang apartment A? Saan is where? Where? Near the apartment A. Or where does apartment A near to? So, there are two answers here. See? Malapit and malapit. Malapit sa eskwelahan and malapit 
sa bus stop. So, saan malapit ang apartment A? We start here. Malapit ang apartment A sa... We have a preposition there, sa. Malapit ang apartment A sa... Eskwelahan at end is at. At sa bus stop. So, malapit ang apartment A sa eskwelahan at sa bus stop. Okay? Or you can also say, malapit sa eskwelahan at sa bus stop ang apartment A. You can also start with this one. Because we start with malapit here, right? So, you can insert the the locations here. Malapit sa eskwelahan at sa bus stop ang apartment A. Either way, we'll do. Okay, next questions. Number three. Magkano ang upa sa apartment B kada buwan? Magkano is how much, right? How much is the upa? The rent of apartment B every month. So, how much is the rent of apartment B every month? So, the answer is 1,000. So, we can start with the number, 1,000. We say, $1,000 ang upa ng apartment B kada buwan. $1,000 ang upa ng apartment B kada buwan. Okay? So, we always get this from the question itself. So, number four. Ano ang CR ng apartment A? Ano. It means uh, what is what is the CR of apartment A? So, what kind? What kind of a washroom is it? So, what kind is it? Three piece, right? Three piece. So we say three piece ang um, CR ng apartment A. Three piece ang um, CR ng apartment A. That's the answer. Okay, number five. Last question. Alin sa dalawang apartment ang may libreng parking? Alin is which? Which of the two? Dalawa is two, right? Dalawang kwarto. Two. Dalawa. Which of the two apartments? has free parking. So, sa apartment B, may libreng parking. So, you start with a preposition. Sa apartment B, has libreng parking. So, sa apartment B, may libreng parking. Or, you can also start with a verb. Has or have. May. My libreng parking sa apartment B. So I hope you took a screenshot of the pictures of those two apartments that I showed to you earlier. These are the adjectives that we can use to describe those two apartments. So I have the adjectives and the antonyms. So these are the opposites. Malaki and maliit. It means big or um, and small. Malaki is big, maliit is small. Bago is new, luma is old. And then mahal is expensive, mura is cheap. So if we are going to use this word, this adjective to describe the apartment, the apartment, so we put this to apartment B, right? Because the apartment B is bigger, it has two bedrooms. Dalawang kwarto. So we say, malaki ang apartment B. Maliit ang apartment A. This one, bago. Bago ang apartment B. Luma ang apartment A. Okay? This one, mahal ang apartment B. Mura ang apartment A. That is when you are stating the, the positive form or the degree of adjective. But this one, when we go to the comparative degree, if we are going to compare the two apartments and then we are going to form the comparative degree of these adjectives here. So for example, number one, if we say malaki, that's big. If we say bigger, if we are comparing the, the two apartments, so B is bigger than A, right? So we say, mas malaki ang apartment B kaysa sa A. What do we do here? We add mas. If in English, you add ER or if you add more, so if you say big, 
bigger or if you say beautiful you would say more beautiful in in filipino language it's easier compared to english because we don't need to decide should we add er or should i use more or better so here we just use mas mas it's the comparative form um in the next lessons we are going to discuss or maybe in the next lesson we are going to discuss the the three degrees of adjectives so we have the superlative form today it's just the comparative so we say mas malaki ang apartment b kaisa than um apartment a kaisa sa we we need to put the entire phrase kaisa sa than and then we have we have a preposition here sa it can also mean to so compared to compared to a so yeah mas malaki ang apartment b kaysa sa a apartment apartment b is bigger than or compared to apartment a next one we say and then the bago oh by the way if we use malie how can we how can we form our sentence? How do we form our sentence when we, when we use the maliet, the opposite of malaki? Then we need to say mas maliit, mas maliit ang which one is smaller? Apartment A, right? So we say mas maliit ang apartment A kaisa sa B. Number two, we say bago, new, mas bago ang building. You know, building, right? The building. Um, in Filipino, we say gusali. Gusali. But um, in spoken Filipino, we don't really use the, the gusali. It's formal. So we say building. Everyone would understand building. So, mas bago ang building ng apartment B kaysa sa A. If we use bago, if we use new. But what if we use luma? How do we say that? Mas luma. Mas luma ang building ng apartment A kaysa sa B. Very simple. The format is, is very simple, right? Later, after these, I'm going to give you two more adjectives and their opposites. And then you can go ahead and make sentences out of those four adjectives. Okay, last one. Mas mura. Cheap. Uh, cheap. We use this one, cheap mura. Mas mura ang upa. So the rent is cheaper. Mas mura ang upa sa apartment A kaysa sa B. So the rent is cheaper in apartment A compared to B. That is when we talk about cheap. Well, what about we talk about mahal, expensive? How do we say it? So we say... Mas mahal ang upa sa apartment B kaysa sa A. Okay, here are the last four adjectives that I am going to give you. Um, malapit and malayo. Malapit is near, malayo is far. If we are going to talk about the mall, which apartment is farther to the mall and which apartment is nearer to the mall so just like what we did um you need to make two sentences the malayo and the malapit but in comparative degree so it means you need to use mas right mas mas malapit mas malayo depending on um the details that we put in there for the apartments and then the next one is maganda and pangit. Maganda is beautiful. Pangit is ugly. Um, you can check which part of the area or maybe the building or maybe the details is maganda for you or pangit. I have one viewer who asked, how do you pronounce this one? So she said, I, or I think he, he said, um, no one in his or her family was able to pronounce this word. It's very easy. In the previous series, I discussed the sounds. NG is one alphabet, one Filipino alphabet, NG. NG, so it's, the sound is mm. So if you, if you syllabicate this one, pa, and then ngit, so you need to, you need to pronounce 
the first syllable first pa and then you need to produce the sound of ng mm, and then int is it ngit pangit <laughs> I, I know for non-filipinos you will say pangit but you don't pronounce the g here because ng is one character so it's a mm. so pangit maganda pangit okay i'll be waiting for your um, sentences. I would be expecting four sentences from you using the comparative form of these adjectives here. So, mas malapit, mas malayo, mas maganda, and mas pangit. And that is all for today. I hope you learned something. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also, if you learned something from this lesson, please don't forget to share it. And see you again in the next lesson. Bye!